Hi Virgo, this is your reading for the time period of February 1st to February 29, 2020. For those of you who are new to my channel or you're just visiting, welcome to Amani's Lightwork, okay? So before I begin, I want to first apologize for my absence and delay on the reading. I have been super busy with work and I'm also a little bit under the weather, okay? So please bear with me um, and my throat, okay? <laughs> also, if you have any keys to Akasha requests, um, I am totally open my email is ifa divination triple seven at gmail.com you can send me a direct message to my ig at amani ifa triple seven okay um the new reading uh, that is up there is the kobe bryant case so please feel, please feel free to view that when you get a chance to for information okay so let's see what is coming through for you for the rest of this month All right, the page of pentacles energies underneath here, Virgo. So um, this could be a new job. This could actually be your energy. This could be the energies of another uh, Taurus, uh, another Virgo, Capricorn, etc. But it's a new job. So when I said that, it is a new job. So um, <clears throat> a new job. You could be looking training. You could be looking forward to training and things of that nature. Um, I also get going to school, going to school, going back to school, continuing school, etc. But want to want to change schedule if a school if a school environment is coming through you may want to change your schedule it could also be a work schedule that you want to change but working two jobs <laughs> so if it's a work schedule that you're contemplating on changing you may want to look into getting an extra job like a, a second job a third job etc but you don't want to um you don't want to over exhaust yourself if you do have if you do do school if you do do work you know pretty much <coughs> try your best to align um your schedules you know the way you want it done okay all right so your starting point has the four of pentacles energy is here so the four of pentacles uh typically implies uh that of saving money <clears throat> but i keep getting four new jobs so you may want to just save money for a new job for some reason for some reason, you need to save money. I also get an apartment. For some reason, you need to save money for a new job. But you also you also need to save money for an apartment and things of that nature. But don't want to pay broker fee. So the Four of Pentacles, you may not want to pay a broker fee. You may not want to pay if this is a house, you know, a housing loan. You may want to do housing loans and things of that nature, but expensive. Something may be expensive about taking out a loan. It could be a loan for school. It could just be a loan for school, but I do feel like this is apartment. I do feel like this is housing loans and mortgage, um, pretty much making down payments, potential house, pretty much making down payments on a potential house. If you are looking into doing that, want to start business in house also. So the four of pentacles, you may want to start a business inside of your home. I mean, you may have a home now, but you, but you may want to start a business inside of your home. It just depends, but that could be something that is earth sign energies. That could be something that you want to do with an external um, earth sign. That could be something that an external earth sign is doing, like a Taurus, uh, a Virgo, another Virgo, a Capricorn. They make money in the house. So when I say that, they those external earth sign energies, they they make money in the house. It just depends. But Sag, tired of. So the Four of Pentacles in the starting in the starting point, a Sag that you're tied to, that if, if external earth sign energies, if they make money inside the house, a Sag, a Sag is tired of that for some reason so them being talks to you about that them being tired of it they talk to you about that like they talk to you in a different language they may talk to you about that but they talk to you about that in a different language it just depends on what's going on where i'll give you a perfect example this is like um 
Uh, um, if this is a situation here where you you could be far away from home, like this could be, you may live in a different location than your parent or sibling, etc. Or you, it can also be business partners that complain about other business partners. Business partners complain to you about another business partner where somebody somebody works inside of the home, but annoying fire sign. Somebody may work inside of the home, but a fire sign energy is annoyed. But why won't they leave? So the four of pentacles energy, why won't an Aries leave? Why won't um, <clears throat> why won't a Sag leave? Always in house. So when I hit Sag, they they may always be in the home. Or it's, it's an external Earth sign energy always in the house, but that's what they say. So when I said that, that could be what that could be what the fire sign energies are talking to you about. That another Earth sign like a Taurus or a Capricorn, they may always be in the home, but that's not true. So the Four of Pentacles in the starting point, that's not true. That that could be something. That could be something that the fire once complained to you about. That could be something that external that fire sign energies once complained to you about. It just depends on what's going on. Making money inside the house, getting outside, getting fresh air, being in the house, not being in the house, doing a business inside the house. I keep in a stage annoyed. Just doing a business inside the house period but i have that kind of feeling with aquarian also so the four of pentacles they had that kind of feeling the five side energies had that kind of feeling with aquarian energy also they wouldn't leave somewhere they were always somewhere but they still complain they wouldn't leave somewhere they're always somewhere and that could be what the five side energy still complain to you about just depend are they complaining to you <clears throat> Are they complaining? But I'm not somewhere. They could be complaining to you, but you may not be somewhere. You may stick. You may stay. You may stay astray, far away from fire. fire. You may stay astray, far away from fire sign energies often. That could be to get a breath of, that could be something that you do to just get a breath of fresh air from them. But now they've, now, now that you're not somewhere, they've turned their focus, Capricorn. They've turned their focus on a Capricorn. They've turned their focus on a Taurus. They've turned their focus on an Aquarian. But why do they do that? So the Four of Pentacles, why does a Sag do that? Why do Aries, why do those fire sign energies do that? But no one pays attention to them. So the Four of Pentacles, no one's, nobody pays attention to the fire signs. And that could be why, that could be why they, I guess psychoanalyze something also. That could also be why they psychoanalyze some type of, um, some type of behavior that you have, some type of behavior that um, Taurus and Capricorn, some type of behavior that the Earth sign energies have, but they don't have behavior. So they don't have an issue with behavior. The fire sign energies external, they just psychoanalyze something that they do all the time, but doesn't have anything else to do so if the five side energies do that they don't have anything else to do with their with their self <laughs> whatever what you're waiting on is the sign of Capricorn, but she knows a lot. So the Capricorn energy may know a lot. They may have a lot of information <coughs> They may have information to give you. The, the fire sign energy cycle them. The fire sign energies may cycle and analyze something that the Capricorn energy does. Or they, they once did that with you before. But that's why I left. They once did that with you before. And that could be why you left. But the them... The fire sign energy is psychoanalyzing something that the Capricorn, but she's tired. The fire sign energy is psychoanalyzing something that the Capricorn energy does. The Capricorn, he or she, the Capricorn energy is tired. Like they, they're physically tired. They, they, they look tired. They're physically tired, and they're also starting to look tired, but tired of fire signs. So that could be something they're tired of a that they're tied to. They're tired of a fire sign energy that they're tied to, and a fire. If this is really separate, a fire sign energy that you're constantly. Tired talks about them so a fire sign energy that you're tied to constantly talks about a fire sign energy that's tied to the earth to, that, that's tied to the capricorn energy but they do business together so it's a triangulation of business between uh, uh, um between fire sign energies that are tied to capricorn and fire sign energies that are tied to fire sign energies that are tied to fire sign fire sign energies that are tied to capricorn fire sign energies that are tied to my business partners they're the fire sign energies fire sign business the wait the capricorn energy business partners that are fire sign energies are they are tied to fire sign energies that are your family members they're tied to family they're tied to fire sign energies that are your family members your business partners but those elements but things capricorn doesn't know that those elements they they do business behind the scenes amongst each other they do it behind the scenes behind capricorn but that's why they cycle and analyze so when i said that, that's why the fire sign energies all of them that's why they cycle and analyze their involvement with someone they cycle and analyze the capricorn Capricorn energy's involvement with someone. The the Sag that you're tied to cycle analyze. They cycle analyze Cap. I keep getting involvement. They cycle analyze. Do you have some type of interesting involvement with the Capricorn? 
They may psychoanalyze some type of but Taurus wants to have. So when I said that they the, the, the fire sign energies of the Sag and the Aries, they may psychoanalyze some type of um huh, they psychoanalyze some type of I keep getting behavior. So this element's behavior, something's interesting that's going on with the Capricorn's behavior, your behavior, or they psychoanalyze some type of interesting involvement that the Taurus wants to have or that the Taurus wants to have with this person, but relate that to Sag. So when I said that they, the Taurus may have relayed some type of involvement that they want to have with Capricorn, but I don't understand. So when I said that, I don't understand. Four of Pentacles, I don't understand why Taurus meet this person. I don't understand why Taurus wants to meet with Capricorn. I don't understand why they want to invite the Capricorn energy somewhere, vice versa. It doesn't make any, something about it doesn't make any sense, but fire signs keep asking. So when I said that, the fire sign energies keep asking you something. They keep, where's Taurus? They keep asking you, where's Taurus? They're asking you, you're asking Asking them Capricorn still there. You're asking them if Capricorn energy is still there. What's going on with Capricorn energy partners? And is the business deal that are you still in a business deal with Capricorn energy business partners? Capricorn and did they leave? The Capricorn energy's business partners leave. The Capricorn leave, but they're not going to. So when I said the Capricorn energy is not going to leave, their partners leave them. Their partners may be leaving them. Their partners may not be leaving. Their partners may leave them. The partners may not leave them. But I'm tired of seeing. So when I said that could be something that you're talking to a Taurus about or that's something that you're talking to a Sag about. I'm tired of seeing, I'm tired of seeing the Capricorn Energy's business partners. I get stolen from also. I'm tired of seeing the Capricorn Energy get stolen from. Is someone tired of seeing you get stolen from? But I get like a parent or like a mother or a father or a sibling. Someone may be tired of seeing something like that happen to you. But I get with Aries. Someone may be tired of seeing that happen to you with Aries. Are you tired are you tired of seeing that happen between Aries and Capricorn? But she takes something from them. So the Aries takes something from Capricorn all, I, for years. The Aries has been taking something from Capricorn for years. But that's what a Pisces said also. So when I said that, that's what a Pisces said also. The Aries uses Capricorn things, the identification. The Aries use Capricorn energy identification. And all that could be, or somebody may use your identification. I didn't see. Someone could be using your identifications and IDs and whatever it is. Someone may be using that that's yours, but you don't see. Capricorn energy don't, don't care. Capricorn energy may see or they know intuitively, but they may not care. Do you see and know intuitively? Do you not care? Well, whatever it is, as long as you may be thinking, you know, as long as credit isn't messed up, as long as call the police, as long as someone doesn't call the police, or as long as you, you may be thinking that someone wants to, that's what a Taurus said. You may, you may be thinking that a Capricorn wants to, that's what a Taurus said. And, and the Taurus involvement to reveal something about them, the Taurus involvement with Capricorn could be, could it be that, okay, the reason for why the Taurus wants to be involved with Capricorn is to reveal information about Capricorn to Capricorn, but making Aries nervous. So something about that, maybe making the Aries element nervous, making a Sag nervous, that could be why act paranoid. That could be why Sag act paranoid with Capricorn. Act paranoid was in some type of communication that they're having with you all the time, but they need to stop complaining about them. So why do they keep complaining about them? Why don't somebody just leave, just depart from a situation here? This depends on the energy that is coming through or that is something that's something that is happening between that's something that's happening with you and your IDs and information pertaining to you with the fire sign energies there but someone may be thinking that you should back out a business deal someone may be thinking that you should back out of a business deal that you have going on with fire sign energies on earth sign or but that's what's making them paranoid so you being involved with with the fire sign energies in a business deal on the earth sign energy that could that's what is that's exactly what is making the external fire sign energies paranoid the Sag and the Aries the Leo possibly that's what's making they use their information those five signs use capricorn information they use yours or to safeguard your own to safeguard your own, you may have joined in on something with the fire sign energies, particularly the Aries element, the Capricorn finding out all that information, but it's embarrassing. So the world element in the waiting position, it may be embarrassing to the fire signs, but they act strange. It's embarrassing to the fire signs, but the fire sign energies act strange around Capricorns and Taurus. They, they may act strange around them. Do they act strange around you, but don't really want you in something. They may not really want you in a biz deal. They may not want, they may not really want you in something with them, but for some reason they accept, for some reason they accept you. They accept you, but they may not accept Capricorn, but limited. They accept Capricorn, but some of them may be limited with the Capricorn. It just depends on what's going on. The present has the Leo. I did say Leo. 
I did say a Leo element was involved here that has information about Capricorn. So the Leo in the present, they have information about Capricorn and, and they have information, but has their things also. The Leo has Capricorn energies, things. Does a Leo have your things? They were given copies. A Leo was given copies of your things, your IDs, your W2s, your information, this, that, and third. They were given copies of your thing by Aries. They were given copies of your thing by Aries. They were given copies of Capricorn energies, things by Aries, but using it for years. I keep getting this feeling of of something, something that they've been doing with your information, something that they've been doing, the fire sign entities have been doing with Capricorn energy information, things of that nature. They, they, that's how they were able to get a house. So when I said that, that's how those elements, those fire sign energies external, that's how they were able to get houses or things for their home. Capricorn information. They were able to get houses and things, things. They were able to get houses and things for their homes and businesses and whatever it is that they do. They they were able to get those things because of Capricorn Energy's ID. Capricorn Energy's ID, Capricorn Energy information and, and tax and whatever it is they do with them. But they, they may get a lot back in return. They If it's taxes, those external fire sign energies like Leo's and Aries and Sag, they, they like last year or whatever year, this this is a, um I think this is a nine card. They may have gotten a lot back last year. They may have gotten a lot back last um, last year, but gave Capricorn little. So them getting getting a lot back last year. They the fire sign energies external. Them getting a lot back last year, the year before, whatever year they. But found somebody old tax paper. So when I said that the strength card in the present, they found somebody's old tax paper, like not a new one. They found somehow somehow didn't receive the Capricorn energy. May not, either a new one or old one. The Capricorn energy may have not received an old tax paper like an old one but sag got to it the, the capricorn energy didn't receive some type of old tax paper like from last year or the year before or they didn't file they could have they could have missed one and didn't file one aries took it to file they could have missed one in the mail and or forgot it or didn't notice it it is it, the capricorn energy's paper it's their w2 whatever information but the aries somehow the aries saw it fall somewhere the aries could have seen it fall somewhere or it was tucked under something that's what a leo did it being tucked under under something something that's what a leo did and gave it to the aries aries took it to fall it's supposed to get back more i'm touching the capricorn energy they're supposed to get get back more are you supposed to get back more but aries took you you are supposed to get back more in taxes but the aries trying to take that the the leo maybe trying to give gives it to aries the leo gives your things to the aries element leo give um, the Leo gives the Aries element Capricorn energy information, but something's going on here with an old tax paper that some your old tax paper Capricorn old tax paper, but that's what makes Taurus nervous. Old tax paper, new tax paper. That's what makes a Taurus element nervous because somebody, somebody either they some either somebody saw somebody's paper fall. Or return somebody saw somebody this is like this is like getting a tax paper from a job this is like getting a tax this is like Capricorn or you or whatever this is like getting a tax paper from a job but like the tax paper dropped or somebody picked it up in the home or workplace whatever somebody made copies of it it dropped or some a drop somewhere like in the workplace or in the home or outside whatever and somebody made somebody <coughs> somebody made <coughs> Somebody made copies of it to give to the Aries element. That could be something that could be something that Leo did with the Aries with the Capricorn energy paperwork, but they're unaware. So when I say that the Capricorn energy is unaware of that. So this this is like waiting for it's an old the spirit emphasized old tax paper because it could be from an old job. It could be from Capricorn old job or, or your old job or Leo. I, I feel like the Leo is just responsible for dispersing information amongst the Leo is responsible for dispersing or a giving up copy. They're responsible for giving up a copy. And them giving up, they're not supposed to have. Them giving up a copy, the Leo isn't supposed to have. The Aries not supposed to have. But they, they willingly give something that belongs to you or Capricorn energy. But how to get it back. So the strength card in the present, how to get Capricorn paper back. They, they may be thinking out of some realization, they may be, but where they out of some type of realization, they may be wondering that they may not have noticed or they may, may be wondering what happened to my old tax paper from this 
particular workplace that I didn't receive the that I did not receive a tax paper from. And somehow the saw it in the mail or they got mailed. They they, they saw it somewhere. They took it, and made copies of it, gave it to the Aries element to file. And that's how the Aries element is able to get something going on with houses and 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 um and furniture and things to decorate places with and businesses and and use they use some they use somebody's ident I keep getting identification. They use your identification, Capricorn identification. They may use the Leos, but limited. They may use the Leos, but the Leo limits how much the Aries element can even use there. You know, the Leo could have that kind of bond with the Capricorn energy as well, but it's it not that strong. It's not that strong of a bond. It's not that strong of a business tie a Leo has with Capricorn, by vice versa. Would never let them use their things like that. So the Leo would never let Capricorn use their things like that. You know what I mean? Capricorn would probably never let a Leo use their things like that. And that could be why they do. That could be why the Leo does something secretively. That's why they do something secretively. Hmm. Wow. Or, they, or it's something that's going on with your things. It's something that's going on with your things that they're not telling you that's happening with your things like that. The future has the Eight of Swords energy. And let's see, the instincts. Oh, Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords could be Aquarium, Libra, Gemini energies. But they have paper. So the air sign element, the air sign female external that is in your instincts, they have your paperwork. Or they have some type of paper that belongs to you. They have some type of paper that either it Capricorns as well. They have Capricorns paper. They have your paper. They have um tax paper. Whatever it is they have some type of document of but need it to file. They they're holding some type of document that belongs to you, but you you need it to file. Capricorn needed to file, but also Leo. Leo needed to file. Capricorn needed to file. I, I you you yourself need it to file, but multiple beneficiaries. So when I said there's multiple beneficiaries, so this is either happening with a dispersion of Capricorn paperwork. Old paperwork, new paperwork, or between between Leo and Aries and Sag elements, they gave to this person. Between Leo, Aries, and Sag elements, they gave copies of of tax papers to a queen of sort, Aquarian female. They gave that to an Aquarian energy that's a female, whatever air sign element that's a female. She benefits the air sign element that's a female. She benefits. She benefits, but this is like this. Is not they're not asking. The fire sign energies are not asking your permission to do so. The fire sign energies are not asking Capricorn energy. They just do something willy nilly with their things, but things they want to sue. The fire sign just the fire sign energies just do things willy nilly with Capricorn information. So. <gasps> Henceforth, they think the Capricorn energy, so do I. So you're like, so do I. You're thinking, they think that you and them and the Capricorn energy want to sue. But sue for them. You're thinking that you want to sue for Capricorn. Mm. You're thinking that you want to sue for Capricorn. That's why, that's why the strength card is in the present. You're thinking that you want to sue for Capricorn energy. You could be doing, you could be doing on them. You could be doing research on them. You could be doing research on them. How, how, how is she benefiting off of my things? How is she, how is Queen of Swords element benefiting off of Capricorn? It's because of Leo. It's because of the fire signs. They're giving them copies of your things and, and um, they're giving them copies of Capricorn energy paperwork and, and W-2s and things of that nature, but she needs to go to jail. So the Queen of Swords may end up going to jail or they're spending the night in a cell or something crazy like that because, because of the way they disperse, it, they're benefiting. Because of the way they benefit and because of the way they disperse, and for, I keep getting multiple beneficiaries, it's because of the way they disperse information to multiple, dis, uh, to, I almost said dispensary, <laughs> something go, could be going on here with dis, some type of dispensary, I mean, you know what I mean when I say dispensary, something could be going on like that, somebody could be investing in some type of business like that, the five science energies may invest in some type of business like that with somebody else's information, but it's going to screw somebody up, <laughs> when I said it, it's going, it could potentially screw somebody up, it could potentially screw you in that that sense with Queen of Swords with giving back my things you need to contact or find out where they live where they work they need you you finding out that they have your things because of Capricorn you finding out they the Queen of Swords has your things because of Capricorn because of because of Leo they they help you also but they more so Aries they help you also but it's more so Aries that they side with for some whatever reason because they they heavily benefit they also heavily benefit they heavily benefit. Now, what's happening, the Queen of Swords don't know them. You don't know Queen of Swords, but something's going on with them where they they benefit because of the fire sign energies. And what's happening, you need to tackle down. What's happening here also is that you need to tackle down Queen of Swords energy. But where does she live? So where where does a Libra live? Where does a... Um, 
uh, where's Gemini? Where's a, I was getting a queen. Where's a queen female lit, but not in the country. <laughs> so, like, um, a queen of swords. If I hit a queen, they may not live in the country. Like, they may not live in the U.S. Whatever country you living in, <laughs> they may not live in the state that you're in. They may live in a different town. They may live in a different. But was told they live in a different country. So you were told you were told this energy lives in a different country, or you were told, um, or Capricorn was told by Sag. Capricorn energy was told by Sag that. A queen of swords, a queen of female, whatever air sign is a female, they, they move. They live in a different country, they live in a different state, live in it, but they but someone's gonna they, they they may really do. But it's also a situation here where they live close by. They they may really do, but it's also an element here where someone may actually live close by, but lied. When I said that the Sag may have lied to Capricorn about that. The the somebody the five sign energies lied to you if they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know or Capricorn energy to know that this element is actually in close proximity to that they are in close workplace. They're in close proximity to your workplace. They're in close proximity to Capricorn workplace. They're in close proximity to someone. They're in close proximity to you. I didn't know. But hire private investigators. So you may be thinking that you want to hire, however you want to look at private investigator, hook up a friend to go stalk them, in, stalk, stalk them and watch where they go day by day. But it's going to be expensive. So if you want to do that, you have that kind of thought, you want to do that, it may be expensive to do. It may be expensive. It may, it, you, like I said, you could either be doing this for yourself or you're taking it upon yourself to do this. You're taking it upon yourself to do this for Capricorn, but doesn't know you're doing that. So the Capricorn energy doesn't know you're doing that. They don't know that you're doing that. And it could be either a major private investigation that you want to do. You could be conducting it on your own. As simple as that. Driving by, walking by somebody's place. Go watching to see where they are in Starbucks and those kind of things. Really, really digging to see why this person involved. Really digging to see why they're involved. Why they're around. What they're doing there. <laughs> Whatever it is. You do that for someone. You do that. You do that for someone. You do that for yourself. But they, they don't want to get caught. So they the fire signs. The the queen of swords. Helper. The queen of swords energy is like a helper. They they could one of those elements that could be many of them. One of these elements could be the stealer and the helper. Like some of them are stealers, some of them are helpers. And and whatever um and whatever like proximity of of involvement that they have going on. I got a case all also, if whatever level of involvement they have going on here with a case, they're involved with a case. Also, Capricorn case, your case. Whatever kind of case is going on there. The accomplishment has the two of wands right next to the four of pentacles energy. So the two of wands, a break. The two of wands is a break, a financial break. <laughs> it's a break from fire signs, but they're deceptive. You need a break from fire signs like Leos and, and Sag because someone's deceptive about them. Someone is deceptive. They, they, are you being deceptive? I don't think that you, I don't really deem you to be deceptive. I just think that like earlier on in the reading when you, when the Sag and the fire sign entities were talking, stealing from someone, they could have been talking to you about stealing from someone. That's why I said, and joining you in and queen of swords. But I feel like even if you, the queen of swords benefits from you, a queen of swords, one of these queen of swords elements, they, they benefit from you. But then there's also another situation where you Something's got something that's going on. Something that's, that's going on that's supposed to be your isn't real. Something that's supposed to be your benefit may not may not be real. And that could be how the fire sign a Leo. That could be how a Leo or whatever fire sign. That could be how they deem it to be. That could be how they secretively. That could be how they secretively deem it to be um, with your things. And you may be thinking you have the ends. You could be thinking you do. You do not. You may be thinking that you have the ends with what the fire sign energies benefit. How the fire sign energies benefit with earth sign energy things, you may be thinking that you have the ends with that, but they, they hooked up someone to benefit from you. They also hooked up someone to benefit from something that you have going on. Some type of money that you received, Queen of Swords was given. Some type of money you received, Queen of Swords energy was given by fire sign energies, Leo, Sag, Aries, whatever. They were given that money. Or some of, you're doing research to find out why they were given money that belongs to Capricorn energy there. But they should be aware. So the Capricorn energy should be aware of that interaction that a sad child with this person, that that uh, Aries, that fire sign energies have with Queen of Swords, when those, however many of those Queen of Swords energies external, you know, fire sign energy, I mean, uh, uh, Capricorn energy should be aware of that. But more so you. So if the Capricorn energy should, if, if not only them be aware, but you should also, you, the spirit said more so you. You, more so you should be aware of that kind of interaction. 
or that business deal with your, with your paperwork, a business deal with your paperwork, a business deal with your identification, your IDs, your your documentation, uh, um, a business deal running on 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 your paperwork, on your on your information is running on, or that's happened to Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Business deal is running on somebody's information. Wow. The uh, what is this? Wait, my bad. Wrong side. Uh, let me see here. The sun card is here in your spiritual self right next to the world energy. So the sun uh, resides with Leo. It also health. It also has to do with health, your health. It could be somebody else's health that they talk about. It could be someone else's health that the fire sign energies talk about. Mental health, physical health, it just depends on what's going on. Financial health, <laughs> you know, it just depends on what's going on there. It's, it could be your health or it's success that you're thinking they're going to be. It's You're thinking that the Capricorn energy is going to be successful. Like I said early on in the reading with, I keep getting behavior. So this is interesting. So I keep getting behavior. I don't know. Somebody, sometimes, I don't know. Somebody, like early on in the reading with somebody working from home, like they may work from home. <laughs> they may have an in-home business, but something, something like the fire sign energies, something, uh, some thought the fire sign energies have their behavior. Some uh, the fire sign energies have some type of interesting thought about the Capricorn energies' behavior, or they have some type of interesting thought about your behavior. But I keep getting it's giving me an idea of success. Something's gonna going on with you, like you're you're successful, but your behavior. Something's interesting about your behavior. You're successful, but something's interesting that's going on with your behavior. Something's interesting that's going on with your behavior or something's going on with the Capricorn successful. The Capricorn energy is successful, but something something's going on with their with some type of behavior that they have because they're successful. It, however you want to look at that. It could be pompousness. It could be, I don't know, grandiose. I don't know. Somebody may, you, could, did you did you develop that kind of thing? Did they develop? But that's why people take from them. People, somebody may take try to take something from them. But I it's Scorpio. When I said that, it could be a Scorpio that tries to take something from Capricorn or or you just depends on what's going on but somebody I can it's giving me that feeling of pompous somebody may deem Queen of Swords does the Queen of Swords may deem Capricorn energy to be pompous or somebody do you deem the Capricorn to be pompous but that's what fire signs said so the fire sign energy said that the Capricorn energy was pompous but for some reason those those elements have not that's why I said behavior and being successful the fire sign energies have not thought about that's what they take from the fire sign energies have not thought that's what they take from you that's why they take from Capricorn whatever Queen of Swords hates <laughs> the Queen of Swords energy is hating <laughs> like they, I don't not hate like 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 hate prejudice hate or anything like that hate like hating on like they somebody's hating on you somebody hating on capricorn more so fire sign so more so fire sign and just hates on capricorn like they're jealous hating in a sense where jealous and envious of that person and that could be why they constantly talk about them and complain about them and what i get narcissists they could be calling somebody a narcissist are they calling you a narcissist? <laughs> Whatever it is, are you calling somebody a narcissist? By air sign female. So the air the air sign female could be a narcissist. <laughs> or you could be called that's what the fire sign the fire sign energies, they may help them benefit but don't really like them. The fire signs help Queen of Swords benefit, but they at the same time they don't really like Queen of Swords. But they they agree, they agree thought about Capricorn. They agree about the fire sign energies agree with the thought Queen of Swords energy has about Capricorn. About being pompous and and um what do you call it? about being pompous and and whatever it is and, and highly confident whatever narcissistic whatever it is that somebody keeps saying about somebody or that could be the thought the Capricorn that could be the thought the Capricorn energy has once had that thought about them the Capricorn once had that thought about Queen of Swords energy or the Queen of Swords had that thought about them you know whatever but the the spirit the spirit taking me on these examples why a business deal is the way it is the spirit taking me on these examples is the reason into why a business deal is the way that it is with with benefit but people people who are beneficiaries that aren't really supposed to be beneficiaries people and ids and copies and and um and taxes and whatever it is because it, the, the way it's happening it, somebody's jealous of someone the way it's happening and because people are jealous of someone they're envious of someone they're hating on somebody so because somebody's 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 success that, that came out of nowhere somebody's success that is like coming out of nowhere that somebody's successful mm. or you <laughs> whatever it is 
uh, the Queen of Pentacles energy is in the mentality. <laughs> There's your Capricorn female, Taurus, uh, Taurus. It could be Taurus female, Virgo female. It's you. This could be your energy here, but people don't like. It could be your energy here. But some something somebody doesn't like something that you have going on. Does someone not like you? Does the Queen of Swords undercover doesn't? The Queen of Swords undercover doesn't like you, or they undercover don't like Capricorn. They undercover don't like the Queen of Pentacles energy. Hmm. But somebody undercover, or you're just thinking about them, you know, just thinking about these two elements here, but they steal from each other. So the Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Swords, they steal from each other. You steal from this person? <laughs> Do you steal from that person? Or you're outside looking into a separate Queen of Pentacles, they take something from this person, vice, vice versa. But something doesn't make any sense. So those two elements taking something from the other, something doesn't make any sense to you. Someone doesn't make any sense that you're doing that with this person, but their involvement with fire signs. So they, the Queen of Swords energy involvement with fire signs don't make any sense to you on this person that's separate or you. Someone doesn't make any sense, whatever it is. What's changing is the Nine of Swords energy. The Nine of Swords energy is in a changing position, but I can't sleep. So Nine of Swords energy, I can't sleep. You know, I, I can't sleep. I can't sleep knowing what's happening with Capricorn. But somebody keeps complaining about, I can't sleep. But what's but but just knowing what's happening with Capricorn, somebody keep complaining about Capricorn. <laughs> Whatever, it, somebody's complaining about you, Queen of Swords. It's Swords energy. So Air Sign complains about you. Air Sign female external complain about you. They complain about Capricorn, Taurus, whatever whoever they complain about all the time. And they complain about someone that they benefit and steal from. <laughs> someone doesn't make any sense there. Why why you why why does somebody want to be closely involved with someone? Why does somebody want to be closely involved with somebody's private and personal identifications and information if they're gonna be rude to somebody? Something doesn't make any sense about that. But that's what you told Fire Sign. So Nine of Swords in a changing position. That's what you're trying to tell Fire Sign. Why do you why do you have this energy in sibling? Why do you have this energy involved with your why do you have this energy involved with Queen of Pentacles personal and private affair? Why do you have Queen of Swords energy involved with Queen of Pentacles energy external personal and private affair? Your own personal and private affair. Why are they involved with that? Why are they involved? It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense for them to be involved. But Capricorn energy sh should speak up. So the Capricorn energy should speak up. They should speak up. Hmm. You should speak up. Whatever it is. Speak up about something that's happening. <coughs> You know what I mean? Just speak up on something that's happening. You do. You feel like you need to do that for somebody. Somebody may feel like they need to do that for you I guess subconsciously. Somebody may feel like they want to do that for you, but they're doing it subconsciously. You're doing it subconsciously with fire sign, queen of swords, on you, on Capricorn, Taurus. Information, documents, how people are using how people are using it for a while to benefit themselves. Someone should someone should confront and speak up on, but they tried that. So sh someone someone should confront and speak up on the Queen of Pentacles energy external. They tried doing that. They tried that, and that could be where I'm tired. <laughs> that could be where you're like I'm tired, but at the same time you at the same time you benefit with fire sign, and that could be keeping you quiet. That could be their way of keeping you quiet. But at the same time you want to help someone that isn't well. You want to help someone that you deem to not be well. In life, for some, however you look at, not well. Someone may deem you to not be well. Queen of Swords, not mentally well. Queen, of, one of the Queen of Swords energies may not be mentally well, and that could be why that that could be why an odd speculation is surrounding them or, or their involvement in something. There, something is something isn't right neurologically. <coughs> someone isn't something isn't right neurologically with the Queen of Swords. <coughs> the resolution has a Six of Swords energy. Whew. The Six of Swords is going towards the Eight of Swords energy here. I am really certain about a plan. You may be really certain about a plan that you have formulated here for yourself or for external Queen of Pentacles energy get to get their stuff back. You, you have a plan to get their stuff back, you know? You got to plan their old tax paper. I was getting old tax paper. Queen of Swords benefit from. A Queen of Swords energy benefits from a Queen of Pentacles energy old tax paper. <laughs> like their old tax paper. Somehow they got their hands, grubby hands. They got their grubby hands on that. But it's the fireside energy's responsibility, the reason why they did. Or part of it, whatever it is. 
But I also get will money. So someone's got on with will money also. That this element greedy greedy. So they got they got their hands on somebody's will money. But bribe they they were bribed with somebody's will money. Mm. Somebody's somebody's page part of somebody's paycheck. I don't know somebody's will money. Somebody's tax term. Somebody's old tax paper. They benefit from that. But nonsense. When I said that, it's someone is an element of, of of sheer pure nonsense with the Queen of Swords energy. Mm. Someone's an element of nonsense with them and having that kind of bond, Aries. Having that kind of bond or tie, but it's tied with Aries element. What the hell is she doing? What the hell is are these fire signs? It is. Someone's maybe idiot like with the fire signs. Someone's an idiot about them or or what they what they gave somebody that what they gave someone that's yours or external queen of pentacles energy. But that's why I can't find something. So since the swords going towards eight of swords, that's why I can't find something. Whatever. That's the spirit just screwed it out of me. That's why you can't find something. You're looking for something, you can't find it, she has it. You're looking for something, you can't find it, she has it. <laughs> the Queen of Swords energy has it. Has or they the Queen of Pentacles looking for something. The Queen of Pentacles for, uh, for I keep getting it for a while. They've been looking for something for a while. The Aries has it. Aries has it. Queen of Swords may have it, but part of it. The, the Aries has something that they're looking for. Then a Queen of Swords energy has part of what they're looking for. Some is an element of not some is an element of nonsense with that. Hmm. Jail potential with this person. One of these elements here. They could also be male, whatever. They one of them could also Aquarius. One of them could also be Aquarian male, Aquarian female. Somebody's pretending to be out of town. Somebody could be could be pretending to be out of town, but just doing something for Aries. They're just doing something for Aries. They may not even be out of town. They're just doing something for Leo. They're just doing something for Sag. They're pretending to be out of town. I was told. I was told they were out of town. I, you, one element you don't even know them <laughs> whatever or, or something like that that kind of interaction happens with the fire sign energies with the knowledge the queen of pentacles energy have about queen of swords energy what the fire sign energies tell queen of pentacles energy external about this person or their involvement who, or who they are period but knows scorpio so when i said that the queen of swords energy knows scorpio they know a scorpio capricorn tied to they know a scorpio that you're tied to hmm. or the scorpio did research on that as well you know, Scorpio could have done research. I get lazy also. The Scorpio could have done research on the Queen of Swords, but someone is lazy about Queen of Swords energy. Someone is, is lazy as happening there with someone. All right. Let's look for outcome here. Reading is short. I think it's pretty straightforward. Temperance card, sign of Sag, nonsense. <laughs> so when I said when I hit Sag, the talking to you about nonsense or the complaining about nonsense, so, but it is jealous of someone. So when I said that, they can be they just jealous or envious of somebody. They complaining about somebody's behavior that somebody really doesn't have some type of interesting in behavior or but they just know things. The Queen of Pentacles energy just knows things. You just know things. But somebody's complaining about nonsense, <laughs> whatever it is, you deem it to be nonsense. Whatever it is, you deem it to be nonsense. They're benefiting to, from someone that they're complaining about doesn't make is 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 nonsense. You know, it's nonsense. Or they know they know about someone, but they're responsible for why they're around. So the the uh, the Sag is responsible for why Queen of Swords energy is around. And they should be they they don't complain about that. <laughs> they don't complain about their nonsense. <laughs> they don't complain about the nonsense and foolishness about the surrounding Queen of Swords, but they can put sensible. <laughs> They're complaining about a sensible person. Someone that has sense. They're complaining about a sensible person. Are they complaining about you? <laughs> they're complaining about a Capcorn. They're sensible. They're successful and they're sensible. They're intelligent. They complain about them. Somebody's intel somebody complains about someone that is intelligent. And some is it's nonsense about that. Mm, wow. All right, uh, bro. Let me know how it resonates. Be well. Take care. Bye.